Welcome back to the shop. Today I'm building a little project. Uh, it'll be a hammer with uh, a steel hammer with a wood insert on either end. These little wood inserts are just the plugs. Focus. These are just the plugs from a inch and three quarter hole saw. And I think this wood is sycamore. It's, uh, it was, it's two befores or, yeah, I guess they're two befores. Two befores from um, sheet metal skids. Uh, so it's, this is either hickory or sycamore and it really don't smell like hickory. So this pipe here is uh, just an inch and a half schedule 40 pipe. This tubing is a uh, thin, very thin wall, one inch tubing. So these fit really snug down in that pipe. And when I cut these, I cut them on the end grain. I cut me a little block and the grain is running this away. I don't know if that'll splinter worse or not as mad, but anyway, there we go. Uh, the whole reason for me doing this is I needed a soft headed hammer for uh, knocking a chuck up into my drill and stuff. And I just wanted to make something uh, cool, something, something nobody else has got. There'll be another guy in the world that's got one of these. But anyway, the way I made these, I scrounged around up the steel yard and got me some inch and a half pipe. And I made these two at a time. I got my notch on the end of my tubing here uh, notched together and while this before I cut this in two well I can't show both of them but but I put a piece of pipe through here and a piece of pipe through this one and two big old long pipe clamps held them together and then welded tacked and welded and welded it up and then I took a flap wheel and uh, cleaned everything up uh, got all the rust off of it and I put a tinker's bead on the end of it be like what a tinker does on the top of a pot. Uh, just rolled a bead on it with a hammer and a mandrel. No big deal there. And then I took and put it in the vise between soft jaws, wood jaws, and squished down on the handle so that it is an oval handle in your hand. Uh, I drilled uh, five sixteenths. Uh, well, actually, I drilled uh, thirteen thirty seconds through the top up here for a clearance hole. And I drilled me a five sixteenths tap drill size, and in a three eighths, I tapped the bottom side of the pipe here for a three eighths tap or three eighths threads. That way, there's a bolt in there to stop this one from driving all the way through, and this one from driving all the way through. And if they s tend to get loose in there, you, I guess a man could tighten that bolt up and egg this down a little bit. Uh, after I got the holes drilled, and while I still had it in there, I spotted the, <clears throat> that one's tight. I spotted the uh, top of this with a spot bit, a uh, counterbore bit. Now this is a 5 eighths counterbore with a 5 sixteenths pilot on it. It's just what I had. Uh, worked out pretty good. This one, I used the wrong, the wrong counter bore on this one and it was too small. So I just took a grinder and with my flap wheel and, and put a flat on there so that the bolt bears. So all that being said, I'm going to blue this and, uh, I blued the hand wheel on the drill press the other day. And one man said that he, he'd like to re well, he didn't say. He indicated that he would like to see that, some bluing. So I'm going to do my best to uh, get this blued up. Stick with me. So when I fire up the torch, the audio is going to go wonky. Uh, it'll probably be really loud. There's something about this camera rig and setup that it wants to record the torch so much better than what you want it to record. So uh, pause your, mute your stuff now. And when I give you the thumbs up, unmute it.
Okay, now I'm gonna go over and give this a little drink of water and get it cooled off and then we'll get it oiled. So here we go, this is the finished product. That's still a little warm, but I just cooled it off and oiled it and there we go. Y'all have a good one. Y'all drive safe. Watch for deer.